new sound, a new persona, a new decade. Through their musical style and unique lyrics, the Beatles changed American and British social history, becoming one of the greatest rock bands of the 20th century. The Beatles were an English rock band, active throughout the 1960s and one of the most commercially successful and critically acclaimed acts in the history of popular music. The group was formed in Liverpool and by 1962 there were four members, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison and Ringo Starr. At first, a five-piece lineup of Lennon, McCartney, Harrison, Stuart Sutcliffe and Pete Best. Sutcliffe left the group in 1961 and Best was replaced by Starr the following year. The Beatles built their reputation in Liverpool and Hamburg clubs over a three-year period from 1960. The Beatles achieved mainstream success in the United Kingdom in late 1962 with their first single, Love Me Do. From then on, the Beatles' sound was infectious and soon conquered America. From then on, it was a whole new world for the Beatles. Well, shake it up, baby, now. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, now. Come on, baby. Come on and work it on out. Work it on out, baby. Work it on out. The Beatles were young and rebelled against the cosy and dull way of living of their parents' generation. And this struck a chord with a lot of boys and girls in Britain. The Beatles were described as a threat to civilization because their long hair and their suits hinted rebellion. Their fresh and cheeky behaviour must have been appealing to many British teenagers in the early 60s. Their pictures were everywhere. Their recordings were bought by everyone and probably even people who didn't like the Beatles or their music were in a way influenced by them because that is the way fashion affects people. It was an important moment in their career. At the start of a year in which they would lead a working class assault on music, fashion and the mop haircut. Beatles badges, dolls, chewing gum and even cans of beetle breath were sold to the Beatle maniacs. In 1967, after the Beatles decided to stop touring, they began to change their style. This has been said to be the reason that the Beatles are still today remembered for being one of the best boy bands in history. The Beatles, however, changed almost everything. Their music, their lyrics, their appearance, their ideas, and kept their fans interested. Although they were experimenting with musical styles and instruments, they were also experimenting with drugs. After they started taking drugs via Bob Dylan, they made their most revolutionary music. It changed modern music and it changed the world. Taking drugs certainly had a creative influence on the Beatles' songwriting. In these darker days, although some of the fans, parents and anti-drug users began to dislike the Beatles, the music they recorded, whilst intoxicated, was arguably the best they've ever recorded, and the adoring fans couldn't get enough. They broke up for the same reason they were successful. They were all extremely talented musicians interested in trying new things. The breakup really began in 1967 with the death of Brian Epstein, who had managed the group since late 1961. After Epstein's death, Paul McCartney tried to step into that role and act as group leader, while the members of the group began moving in different directions. As time went on, it became obvious that even the new manager, Klein, couldn't stop the fighting. They couldn't seem to agree on anything anymore. After this, they all went on to work on their solo careers, but they claimed there was no real split, and talk of another Beatles album ended. Although there were still the group's fans, who hoped for years for a reunion, that never came. 